starting with the next topic that is wall lines from impaction now an impacted tooth it is the one which is unable to fully erupt in its normal position or occlusion by its expected age of eruption because it can be blocked by another tooth or by the bone or by the soft tissue so wall lines they are used for the radiographic assessment of the impacted mandibular third molar and it was determined by the george winter so also it is known as winter's line and here the position and the depth it is determined now over here there are three imaginary lines so what it indicates w is for white a is for amber and r is for red lines now white line it is the one which is drawn along the occlusal surface of the erupted mandibular molar so first you are going to draw a line from the occlusal surface of first and second molar and you are going to extend it towards the third molar region posteriorly now there are different scenarios of the impacted third molar so if your impacted third molar it is vertically impacted so in that case you will see the occlusal surface of the impacted molar it is parallel to the white line the next scenario will be if the impacted molar it is disto angular so in that case you will see the occlusal surface of the third molar it will meet the white line in front of the third molar next scenario is mesio angular so in that case occlusal surface of the impacted third molar it will meet the white line behind the third molar the last scenario will be when it is horizontally impacted so in that case white line will be perpendicular to the occlusal surface of the impacted molar now this white line it indicates the depth of the tooth within the mandible and the relationship of the occlusal surface of the impacted and the erupted molar now the amber line it is the one where you are going to draw the line from the interdental septum of the first and the second mandibular molar and you are going to extend it towards the distal aspect of the third molar now this line it represents the margin of the bone which is covering the third molar so it indicates the amount of the vertical bone that needs to be removed while you are extracting the third molar now the last line is about the red line so it is the imaginary line which is drawn perpendicular from the amber line to the imaginary point of application of the elevator the instrument that you are going to use for extraction usually that point is the cj on the mesial surface exception is for the disto angular case where it is the cj on the distal aspect so in this longer the red line it is more difficult to extract the teeth if it is less than 5 mm it is less difficult and after 5 mm even 1 mm increase will increase the difficulty level by 3 times so if it is more than 5 mm extraction is done under general anesthesia and if it is more than 9 mm it is very difficult and you need to extract the adjacent tooth also so that was all about the wall lines thank you so much